here in Fredericton to change the world. We're going to lead together. My goal is in the next four days, you're energized. You're being pushed to your limit to go back and make a real difference in your community. This could be the moment we've been waiting for. You cannot afford to sit back and be quiet. It's gonna stop. Nothing's gonna stop. Nothing's gonna talk. There's nothing like we've ever seen. Diversity doesn't weaken you. Diversity strengthens you. Unions must commit to equity and inclusion because equity and inclusion are what build our union. Many things we can do to improve health right now and improve the climate, we should just go ahead and do that. Well, honestly, we've used the word lead, foncé en français, uh, a few times during our convention because the Nurses' Union movement is really about pushing our agenda forward. It's really about finding that voice, regardless if it's on the workplace, on the provincial, national, international agendas. It's about speaking up. It's about leading. I'm so pleased to be out of my country just for a little while uh, because we've just had two disastrous election outcomes um, for unions and labour generally and uh, both at the state and uh, federal levels. As healthcare workers, nurses, doctors and anybody in healthcare should be the uh, you know first line that should be talking about climate change. So as nurses, we need to be more open, we need to be more out there, uh, talking to the uh, public, talking to people that we care for. My husband is Latin and grew up in Ecuador and I hear about what it was like and the conditions and I'm just so grateful that his mom was brave enough to take him to a new country um, and I just, believe that in our country when we're bringing people over we need to make sure that they adjust well and that they have health care and they have um, important resources that, that everybody needs even going to a place as great as Canada you don't arrive and oh yay healthy clean water we're good well, the CFNU now, for example, is engaged in a, a big campaign about pharmacare. Um, this has very obvious links to poverty. Um, think about the number of people in Canada who have no drug plan, who um, are struggling to meet the, the needs that they have in terms of their health with accessing drugs. Um, I do see this in my clinic every day. Uh, families who can't afford EpiPens that we have to prescribe for them for children who have life-threatening allergies. Absolutely, le, les infirmières, les syndicats, les infirmières doivent euh, s'impliquer puis euh, lutter contre la pauvreté, contre tous les, les enjeux pour aider la société, nos, nos communautés. C'est les personnes qu'on voit à tous les jours, souvent, qui vivent des situations. Puis c'est à nous, c'est la conscience euh, sociale qu'on a puis pour les aider. I think nurses have a huge role to play in the in the social issues that that affect the, not just our local communities but the world today: climate change, poverty, inequality. Um, and nurses need to get active. I think at at the core of why labor unions even exist was in the fight for um, equality for workers. So whether that was in obtaining fair wages, whether that was in obtaining safe workplaces, that's the history of labor unions. I think all nurses should should uh, care about equity because it's, it's a right for all of us to feel um, that we we're, we're contributing, to feel that we're valued, and you know. Um, were measured by the same yardstick and not, not measured based on somebody else's schema, what they think about, about me because I, I have a different color skin or I may have, you know, I'm from a different part of the world. Let's make it clear. Yes, we will work on prevention, but I'm telling you today, you hit a nurse, you go to jail. <laughs> I'm 
terrified about climate change. Um, I live in an area that's highly affected by wildfires and we actually had a wildfire close to where I live outside of Bragg Creek, Alberta. Um, and I see the effect, uh, we had a smoky, smoky summer. So last year, we I'm a pediatric nurse, and last year we had kids and kids in with major respiratory issues, and it was constant, and we couldn't keep up with the flow of them, and it's very concerning. We have to get angry. No one's getting angry. Climate change is totally changing this landscape. I, I sort of had... I do think we're at a turning point in history for climate change. We have multiple municipalities declaring a climate emergency. We have nations de declaring a climate emergency. And we have nations now also starting to make plans that are adequate to the scope of the problem. So the UK has a government body that, that is charged with creating uh, plans and they just put forward a credible sort of itemized plan to, to achieve net zero by 2050. Nurses are an incredibly powerful force, and I think that their efforts to help generate a healthy response to climate change could actually be the deciding factor. The World Health Organization has called the year 2020 the year of the nurse. Well, if election 2019 doesn't go well in Canada, it's going to be the year of survival for nurses because we know that we need to choose care, not cuts. We know that we have to have bodies, professional bodies to take care of the sick. Uh, we know that our communities, our long-term care facilities need help. We know we need a national pharmacare program. To do that, it means the 200,000 plus members of CFNU have to get out of their house, talk to their neighbor, neighbors, and go and vote, and go and vote for something that matters. Comme infirmières et infirmiers, nous nous devons d'avancer vers un avenir meilleur. As nurses, we have to move towards a better future and bring everyone else with us.